welcome to our channel in the last session we discussed syntax directed definition along with two different types of attributes that is synthesized attribute and inherited attribute and also we discussed s attributed sdd and l attributed sdd now in this session we will move to how to construct an sdd for a simple desk calculator it is also called as a simple syntax directed definition for evaluation of an expression how do we evaluate an expression so this syntax directed definition is constructed that is in the form of annotated parse tree that means an sdd for an expression is also called as annotated parse tree for example in this we are constructing the annotated parse tree for this expression and this is the given production each and every production the semantic rules are also given this is my input to the problem now what is the thing you have to construct the annotated parse tree before that one what is the first step the first step is construct the parse tree construct parse tree for the given expression we already know how to construct a parse tree we already know how to construct parse tree starts from the starting symbol l l tends to e and n here n specifies some new line character that is not required now e the production the symbol e is to be expanded so we have two possibilities e1 plus t t here both e and e1 are same to provide the separation between the parent and child we are using that notation so not at all required here plus is available so e tends to e plus t now expand this e so one more production is t only t is available from t we have the production t into f from t we have the production t star f so finally t tends to f f tends to the particular digit f tends to particular digit dot here we are writing the attribute digit dot lex value here also f tends to digit dot lex value here t tends to f f tends to digit dot lex value okay this is a parse tree so for the given expression here we are constructing the parse tree now what is your aim the parse tree is to be converted into annotated parse tree what is mean by annotated parse tree simply a parse tree containing values value of attributes parse tree containing values of attributes at each node that means in the parse tree each and every node contain values of attribute then that parse tree is called annotated parse tree that parse tree is called annotated parse tree now here this is the parse tree observe carefully i am converting this parse tree into annotated parse tree first one digit dot lex value what is my value 3 so my value is equal to 3 after that so this is from this one f dot val so f tends to digit that means so actually we are starting at this position we are starting at this position this is not possible this is this is this is this is s yes. okay now at this position we have some value after this position assign value to f dot val 3 now t takes the value from t takes the value from f 
so here t dot value is equal to 3 t dot value is equal to 3 here in this this lex value is equal to 5 f what is the value of f obviously f dot value is equal to 5 now here this t so this is my production t tends to t1 t into f so what is the value of 3 observe the semantic rules here t dot value is equal to t dot value into f dot value so here t dot value is 3 into f dot value is equal to 5 so t dot value is equal to 15 here this lex value is equal to 4 what is f dot value observe f dot value is digit dot lex value so f dot value is 4 now what is t dot value t dot value is f dot value that is 4 here what is e value e tends to t so e dot value is equal to t dot value you got it this is the very very simple procedure based on the semantic rules now here e tends to e dot value is equal to e dot value plus t dot value 15 plus 4, 19. Finally, L dot value is equal to E dot value, 19. Okay. So, this is the way like this. Finally, this is the value. We are evaluating the expression 3 into 5, 15 plus 4, 19. This is the way to construct the annotated parse tree. In the simple procedure, how to construct traverse from top to down and left to right. If there is a reduction, executes the corresponding semantic action. If there is a reduction, execute the corresponding semantic action. Okay, no problem. We will discuss some more examples in the next session. Thank you.